Hello everyone, in this video, I'm going to discuss the topic limits and continuity. Here are the examples for indeterminate form. So evaluate the following limits if they exist. For the case, limit when x approaching 2 for the function x squared minus x minus 2 over the absolute value for x minus 2. So first of all, I'm going to define x minus 2 for the absolute value. So as we all know, the definition for the absolute value for x would be equals to x and the domain will be x greater than equals to 0. Next will be negative x where the domain will be x less than 0. So based on the definition, I'm going to define the modulus or the absolute value for x minus 2. Here we have x minus 2 and it can be defined as positive x minus 2 and the domain is x minus 2 greater equals to 0. Next we will have negative x minus 2 and the domain will be x minus 2 less than 0. Next we are going to simplify the situation and finally we have modulus of or absolute for x minus 2 will be equals to x minus 2 and the domain will be x greater equals to 2. Next, we will have negative x minus 2 and the domain will be x less than 2. So next, I'm going to illustrate the situation for the function absolute value for x minus 2. Based on the definition of the domain where we have x greater equals to 2, meaning that on the right hand side. So here is the definition. We have 2 and here we will have x minus 2 for the function. Next, we will have x less than 2 for the left hand side and the function will be defined as negative x minus 2. So now kindly refer to the questions. If we substitute the value x is equal to 2 and we will have 2 squared so we will have 4 minus 2 minus 2 so for the numerator we will have the answer 0 over if we substitute the 2 into x so we will have 2 minus 2 again we will obtain 0 so this is what we call in determinate form. So we, if we have this kind of situation, so we have the alternative either ring, multiply the conjugate, factorizing the situation. So for this case, I'm going to factorize the situation. So now limit when x approaching 2 from the left. For the numerator, I'm going to factorize the situation and finally I will have x minus 2 x plus 1 over since our situation is 2 from the left can we refer to the definition 2 from the left so I'm going to pick the situation negative bracket x minus 2 so kindly simplify the situation and we will have limit when x approaching 2 from the left and we will have negative bracket x plus 1. So finally, our answer will be equals to negative 3. Or we can say limit when x approaching 2 from the left, the value of y approaching negative 3. So now I'm going to try on the right hand side. So limit when x approaching 2 from the right. Again, I'm going to factorize the situation and we will have x minus 2 bracket x plus 1 over. Since the situation is 2 from the right, so based on the diagram, 2 from the right. So the function will be x minus 2. 
So kindly simplify the situation and we will have limit when x approaching 2 from the right. After we simplify, we will have x plus 1 as the function. So now we are going to substitute the value 2. And finally, the value of y will be approaching 3. So as a conclusion, limit when x approaching 2 from the left for the function fx is not equal to limit when x approaching 2 from the right for the function fx. So meaning that limit when x approaching 2 for the function fx does not exist. So here are the example for indeterminate form for the topic limits and continuity. So here we are and thanks for watching.